In this lesson, we're going to be using the blob brush. In our previous lesson, we were able to use the paintbrush tool to create some really cool ink-like organic brush strokes. And now we're going to be focusing on the blob brush. And so if you don't have it selected, we're going to just come over and you can just click and hold and then you get a, an option here to choose the blob brush. Or you can hit Shift B and that will pull the blob brush up. And so I'm using a tablet and my tablet has pressure sensitivity. But in order to make sure that I uh, have, I'm using or utilizing the blob brush, I want to make sure that my settings are correct. So let's go ahead and double click on our blob brush. And you can see that we have uh, the same type of fidelity, whether that be accurate or smooth, as our regular brush. And we also have some settings for our pressure. And so for our pressure, I want to make sure that I have that set to the maximum. So whatever my point size is, whether that is 55 to 7, I want to make sure that the variation is all the way to the right. Now, this is just for this project. Now, maybe you don't want the variation to be all the way. Maybe you just want a little bit of variation. But for this example, we're going to have that all the way cranked to the right. And then for our blob brush, maybe we don't want it to be selected. And maybe we want it to merge with maybe... Uh, any any kind of uh, solids, maybe not just with the selected. So we have some different options that we can choose. And just to kind of show you what that looks like, we're going to have those both selected. I'm going to hit OK. Now let's say that we were, were drawing his mouth down here. And so if I push harder, then I'm able to get really uh, thicker lines. And then as I kind of ease off, then I'm able to uh, just kind of smooth those out. Now you can see that it stayed selected. Now, if I wanted to continue with this line, I could just kind of click and draw, and you can see that it merged those lines. Now, I'm going to just control to that last line and deselect. Now, if I use the blob brush, then you can see that it did not merge those last lines. And that all kind of depends on how you want to work, because maybe you don't want all your lines to be merged so that you can always come back and um, and maybe you want to use your your selection tool and and make any kind of changes and move some lines around something like that so for our example though maybe we're going to just double click and we're going to have the merge only with selected off and the keep selected off we're going to have our fidelity in the middle and we're going to have our variation all the way to the right and let's just hit okay so what we're going to do is we're going to just kind of uh, get a feel for this blob brush because you know you have a lot of control and you know you can make some really nice line variations just by uh, pushing harder on your stylus now there's some you know different different uh, brush strokes that we could use you know if we use the brush tool but we can just stay with the with the blob brush and we can emulate a lot of those different brush strokes just by uh, using our pressure sensitivity so we can easily just kind of come in and not have to switch uh, between different brush tools and have some really nice outcomes here. And so I, you know, I'm even using this in conjunction with my my brush my brush stroke that the uh, the ink brush stroke, you know, just to kind of keep it organic. So you know you might think about that with your project if you were to uh, if you were to you know want to have that organic look that maybe you wanted to. Uh, you know, go ahead and use your blob brush for a majority of it, but then you can come back with your traditional uh, paintbrush and then add some nice little ink lines that will just kind of finish that your project out. So we're just going to kind of come through and finish out our character, creating some really nice variation. So you can see that, you know, my hand was a little shaky there, but it, I was able to, to uh, smooth that out just because of the the options I have. So what if I did have this set to completely accurate? So for this ear, if I wanted if I wanted that to you know be a little bit shaky, you can see I can get that if I wanted it. Or if I have the uh, fidelity set all the, almost all the way to smooth, which if I had it all the way to smooth, then it's almost hard to to get the line width that you want because it's going to keep trying to correct that for you. So I'll just Control Z that right here in the middle I've found uh, works really well so you know you can really get some nice line width, width and variation just like that awesome so I'm gonna go ahead and finish the top of his head 
about like that. And then for these little pieces of hair down here, you know, we'll just kind of uh, allude to uh, some of that hair. Start thin, push hard, bring that down. I'm going to give him a little bit of scruff down here, kind of sticking out of his face. And then for his eyes, we're going to start light. We're going to push a little harder, and then we're going to end light. So you can get a nice uh, eye shape. And then for the, his pupils, we're actually just going to fill this completely in. And then uh, we're going to use our blob eraser. Or it's actually just an eraser, but sometimes they call it a blob eraser because I can actually get it to work just like the blob brush. So now that we've come through and kind of finished up our character, so we'll go ahead and kind of leave them about like that. So now I'm going to move over to my eraser. So with the eraser tool, the eraser tool is very, very cool. I'm gonna double click on this and you can see that we have, um, we have a lot of the same type of options here. So for the angle, we can change that, the roundness, the size. So the size, we are gonna choose pressure. And we're gonna also take that and push that all the way to the right and hit okay. So for that, uh, for the blob or for the brush or for the <laughs> eraser, uh, we can also uh, increase and decrease our size and things like that. And so there's a, a little shortcut that we can use with both the blob brush and for the eraser, and that is our brackets. So if we hit the right bracket, you can see the size getting larger, and the left bracket makes it get smaller. And so I want to go ahead and take a little notch out of his eye, just like that, kind of old school, and looks like I need to bring my brush size down for this one. Awesome. Now for his mouth, what I want to do is just kind of create a little bit of uh, variation in, in, in that, uh, that dark area. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to, uh, well, actually, I need to make that just a little bit smaller. So I'm going to bring my brush size down. And I'm just going to very lightly just create some little lines back here. Just like that. Very cool. And so you can use your eraser as a tool as well. And so, you know, if you wanted to, like maybe we took our blob brush, and I guess this is like his collar or shirt or something down here. We can actually take our eraser, and we can just kind of create some little, some little strokes through that, just to kind of give it some, some texture or something like that. And so, you know, use, use all the tools that you have available to you, and you can create some, uh, some really cool, looking artwork. So now we can get rid of our our uh, our sketch outline and actually it kind of took away with some of our with some of our uh, grayscale. So if you want to come back and use your brush tool and fill some of this in, feel free. You know, have fun with this. And in our next lesson, we're going to be using our pencil tool.